Hello, welcome to Math with Noel. Today we'll be learning time. Hi Noel, what time will we be learning today? Half past and o'clock. So you've got a clock behind you? Yes. Can you tell us the parts of the clock? So face is the biggest part, minute hand, hour hand and all the numbers 1 to 12. Okay, so which one is the minute hand and the hour hand and what's the difference between them? So the minute hand is the long one here and the hour hand is the short one here. Okay, and we've put ours in red and green so we yeah. can see them easily. Okay, so can we start with o'clock, Niall? What yeah. happens, what needs to happen when it is o'clock? The minute hand has to be on 12, so this would be 1 o'clock, for example. Okay, and what would 2 o'clock be? This would be 2 o'clock. Okay, so the so hour the hand always points at the number when the minute hand points at the 12. Okay, what about 3 o'clock? I want to see if this works. No. Okay, 3 o'clock. Okay, so can you explain where the hands are pointing? So, the hour hand points at the number, which o'clock it is, and the minute hand points at the 12 when it's o'clock, and then it can also be 12 o'clock, okay. and where they both point at the 12. Okay, so what <coughs> would 10 o'clock look like, explaining the positions of the hands again? 10 o'clock would look like this. So the minute hand is pointing to 12 and the other hand pointing to 10. Yeah. How would we write this time 10 o'clock? Um, we could do like this 10 colon 00. Okay, that's one way to write 10 o'clock. Or you could write Ten o'clock. Okay, and what's that between the O and the clock? Um, I forgot the name. Apostrophe. Apostrophe. So let's see that again for ten o'clock. So. Okay. Ten o apostrophe clock. So ten o'clock. Good. Ten o'clock. So can you put the time on eight o'clock? On 8 o'clock. And explain the positions of the hands. It's the same, just the hour hands point in the 8 and everything's else the same. So the minute hand always points at? The 12. When it's o'clock. Yes. So can you show us how we would write 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock. The same 8 colon... Zero, zero. Okay, lift it up again. We mm -hmm. eight colon zero, zero. Okay. Or. Or. Eight. Zero, eight. O oh, apostrophe clock. Which is. Eight. Which is also eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Very good. Let's do one more o'clock, Niall. Can you set the time for three o'clock? Okay. Three um, Hey, come on, go to my three. Yay, it went to three. Okay, so that's three o'clock and let me get the time for three o'clock. Three O oh, apostrophe clock. Three o'clock. And the other way? Fine. Three colon zero zero. Three Very good. One thing we didn't say at the start, do you know how many minutes in an hour? Sixty. Sixty minutes in an hour. And do you know how many minutes in half an hour? Thirty. Thirty. So we're going to do half past the hour. So okay. on the Another thing now, what direction do the hands move? They go this 
way. And what direction is that? This is clockwise. And then this is the bigger version of clockwise. Uh, uh, Very good. Uh, Very good. So do it on the clock again. Let's see. Going clockwise. Do both hands go clockwise? Yeah. Okay. So That's why it's called clockwise. Oh, very good. So can you put the put it back on three o'clock? And showing how the hands move, what happens when it's when it goes to half past three? Straighten your clock. Straighten your clock. Okay, my clock is straightened. Okay, half past three. Slowly show what happens. The direction that the hands are moving and explain. So they would both be going clockwise still. Mm -hmm. And then they would go like that and then that would be pointing in the middle and then the minute hand would be pointing at six. Okay, straighten the clock. And straight so in. how far around the clock did the minute hand go? Halfway. Halfway around. So it's half past three. And explain to me the position of the hour hand. In the middle of three and four. Because it's halfway between three and, and four. Four o'clock. Okay, good. So can you show us it another time? Can you do half past... 10 on your and wait no we... do the half past 10 on the board let's have a few goes on the clock first half past 10 let's see okay we half past 10 so the, explain the positions so this is pointing at the six as usual for half past mm -hmm. and then this is pointing at the ten. Is it pointing at the ten? No. Where should it be pointing for half past ten? In the middle of ten and eleven. Okay, straighten your clock. Okay, let's do another one on the board. Can you do half past eight? Half past eight, you say. Okay. We no, that stays like that. Can you see what you're doing when you're moving them? So we're doing that. So this is at the six as usual, and then this is in the middle of eight and nine. Okay, Niall. Let's have a look at some times and how we would write the times. Can you change your clock to half past seven? Okay. So this would point at the six. And then that will go right there in between seven and eight. Good. And how do we write half past seven? <coughs> so we would either do seven, seven colon thirty. And why colon thirty? Because thirty is half of sixty, so halfway. And there's sixty <coughs> minutes in an hour, yeah. so seven thirty. And what's the other way? We could either do half past seven. Half past seven. Half past seven. Brilliant. <coughs> Good. So can you change the time now to half past one and show us how we would write these on the on the clock first? So half past one. Explain while you're turning it. So it would point at a six always when it's half past. And then that will point in the middle of one and two. Okay, so the minute hand, because you're not saying the minute hand, so the minute hand always points at the six. Yes. And the hour hand between one and two. And how do we write half past one? One colon thirty. One thirty, okay. Or half past one. Half past one. Brilliant. Let's do one more. Let's do, this time I'm going to say 11.30. Oh, so set the time first. Okay. Oh, so the minute hand points at the six and then that goes in between 11 and 12. Okay. 
And how do we write 11.30? We write 11.30 like this, either half past 11. Yes. Or 11.30. Brilliant. Excellent, Naya. Should we have a little quiz? Okay, yay. Okay, what's another way to say or to write half past two? Um, 2.30? 2.30, what goes between the two and the 30? Um, colon. Two colon 30, so that's the answer. Okay. What's another way to say half past eight? Um, eight colon 30. Or to write it rather, very good. And how do we write eight o'clock other than eight o'clock? Um, eight colon zero zero. Say that again. Eight colon zero zero. Very good. What's another way that we would write twelve o'clock? Um, what twelve colon zero zero? Twelve colon zero zero. Okay, so now <laughs> we've come to the end, end of, of our video. To, to the end of our time lesson. Um, and we hope that everyone's learned some time today. And some silliness too. Bye! I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, subscribe now. Bye! Don't forget to press that like button.